Hello everyone, welcome back to the class of C programming and this time we are moving to chapter 4 uh, how we implementation, how we implement repetition and loops in C language okay so this time well let's get started quickly I have two pieces of programs, uh, two segments, part of one I suppose you know this part one, at least the part one very well. It is the if selection. It is if selection. What I have here is the first I declared an integer uh, a variable uh, which has a value 10. And then according to the if selection, uh, if the value it is less than 26, and remember uh, what I have here is the, it is a compound statement. Compound statement syntax wise, okay. It just plays a role like a single statement, but anyway, practically it does allow us to put multiple statements together as a single statement. That is a compound statement. If we do same, so clearly, if value is less than 26, this is true if value is 10. So we are going to add this value by 5, and also I want to print out, I want to make sure the computer really did uh, the thing as expected as designed. So I print out uh, this va value here, okay. And indeed, uh, as expected, uh, the truthfully, okay, the computer did uh, print out the value as number 15, number 15. And this is exactly what I expect. And the second part, to the right column, okay, pretty much the same thing, look closely. And really, the only change I made here, it is I replaced the keyword if with while. And uh, to be accurate, I just realized I'm using this Word document, and many times the Word document just changes my typing into something different. So for this program part, I really needed to put the lowercase if there. Okay, we already went through this part one of the segment. It does the work as expected. And now, I basically, for the right column, I just copied pretty much, pretty much the entire thing from part one. And then somewhat I just replaced the keyword if with while. Let's take a look at what will happen. And the first of all, uh, if this is really first ever you're having a programming class, and you ever know the loop structure, and you can consider while it's the same somewhat. Okay, not the same, but anyway, in the beginning, let's say if the while, okay, really it is to replace if. So indeed, it will print out as we did, as it did for the first part of the segment, part one. Print, it does print out the number value 15 here, value 15, okay. And then you keep on watching. And indeed, uh, the program, okay, it did not stop at 15 because this is really not if, right? We use the, use the, with the word while. And somewhat of the C language does resemble closely to the plain English. And while, while the condition is true, we are going to stay there for a while. So when this value it is added by 5, it turns out to be 15. Because the keyword while, okay. It's not going to jump out. It's going to check the condition again after this value. It is operated increased by five. It's going back to check. It will print out. And then it will move back to check the condition. And clearly, when the value added by five, it tends to be 15, less than 26, still is true. So it get into this part of the segment again, this part of the compound set compound statement. So the value it is added by five and then it prints out. And we see this is how we get to the second line 20, second line 20 here. Okay. And again, now hopefully you get the idea why it's more complicated than if. Okay. If it is a one-time thing while it will repeat, okay, as long as the condition is true. So this time, when after print out the 20, it moves back to check the condition, okay. Condition still is true, it turns out to be 25, it turns out to be 25. And the 25, it is, well, it is less than 26. It is less than 26, so it prints out, okay. And then 
Uh, after it print out 25, and it still moves in. It still moves in. Actually, uh, now I think I just figured out I should add more thing here. Value it is less than 26, and then it will print out 32, believe it or not. I should have fixed this part. Sorry for the mistake. Because think about it carefully. When the value it is 25, it is still less than 26. And then it will move into the statement. Okay, val it is added by five and the print out the value. So it will print out number 30 here. It will print out number 30. And the leader, it's going to put, it did print out four different values. And each time it is increased by one. And because of our condition, be very careful, 30 will be printed out. Okay, because the reason we get to 30 because we first have val as 25. And such that the inequality is true. And then we get into the statement, the value increased by 30, and then it prints out, and then we move back to the condition. And at this moment, when the value is 30, the condition is not true. So it jumps out to the next statement while part it is done. So simply put, I hope you get the idea. Okay, this is a simple, well, I cannot simply highlight, highlight the right column here from while to this in the, the, the braces. Okay, this is a single while statement, a single while statement. Okay, it performs a loop. And if you wonder what is a loop, a loop, it is a control structure that repeats a group of steps in a program, like the loop for this while loop, the loop implemented by this while here. Okay, it repeats those statements as long as the condition is true. Okay, so this is a control structure and it will repeat as long as it repeats, as long as the condition is true. This is a while structure. And the compound statement part, Okay, it plays the role, the compound statement plays the role as a single statement, single statement, but it does multiple things. Okay, so that is the loop body. While it is a loop, it performs a loop. The body to be looped, it is uh, those two statements. As I'm saying, this those two form a compound statement. And indeed, you could put multiple statements inside, uh, which means you could repeat multiple tasks again and again, as long as the condition is true. While it is one implementation of a loop, in the C language, in the C language. And now if you want to take a look at the syntax, well, I would say you want to use this as an example. Ah, okay. While it is the identifier or it is a language keyword, okay, you, are, can, you cannot change anything, you cannot change anything. Just keep the while as it is, all in lower cases, all in lower cases. Again, C language is case sensitive, case sensitive, uppercase, lowercase, they are just simply different, different, okay. All in lower cases, while followed by a pair of parentheses with a condition inside. And indeed, I say a condition inside a pair of parentheses, indeed, it could be multiple conditions. Certainly for this example, it is just one single condition. And then repeat, you get into the body of this loop, body of this loop. So this is the syntax, if you want to see the syntax. While, repeat the condition, the repetition condition. When the condition is true, you put a statement there. And I say a statement, indeed you could put multiple statements there. But anyway, you are going to including multiple statements with pair of curly braces. Because in that way, uh, when we have a compound statement, it is just syntax-wise, it is just being considered as a single statement. Wow. And uh, this is the first example for a while loop. Okay, we have a condition, and then as long as the condition is true, uh, this body part will be repeated. Okay. And also, many times when we have a loop, we want to repeat, we know specific numbers to, to repeat. So if that is the case, uh, you can consider use a counter, use a counter to control the loop, control loop. 
So this part of the segment is simply so first of all, I use a counter. You can use any name for a counter. Uh, but anyway, you do need to follow the rules for C language to name a variable to make an identify. And again, an identify must uh, uh, must uh, uh, start with be the combination of letters, digits under the underscore mark. Uh, this is the word document. Uh, there are some red line, red curves underneath it because it's not recognizing as uh, the uh, English word. But anyway, it is a legitimate C language word. Okay, and also you cannot use any keyword like we while. You cannot use while as a variable name. Uh, you can connect the name with underscore marks, and uh, the name cannot start with a digit. And also, it's worth to know it could start with an underscore mark. So this time, I have counter underscore star as the actual counter for the loop, and I have the initial value assigned as zero as zero. Okay, and then the condition simply says as long as the counter, the so called the so called counter here, it is less than the uppercase n. And it is, let's say, maybe 10, maybe 100, it depends on what you want. If you want to 100 uh, asterisks in this case, you put the N at 100. Okay. So if the counter it is less than, strictly less than, strictly less than, and then uh, it will print each time, it will print out a, an asterisk. And also be very careful. Uh, you really need to update your counter each time when the loop, the body, it is ex executed. Because if you don't update, let's say comment this ad, and then it's going to be an infinite loop. It's going to be infinite loop. Yeah, I hope you see. If I take off this line here, it will turn to be infinite loop because the counter star it is always stays zero, it, which is always less than whatever the number you specify. You put it there, okay? So be careful when you use a counter, you need to make the increment for the counter, okay? Uh, usually each time you increase the by one, and then you need a, like uh, the other example I did. You could increase by five, be increased by ten, or you really you could make a decrement, okay? Decrease by one, decrease by two. So this is the introduction of a a loop statement, a loop structure. Uh, it is implemented using the while statement. Still, let's take a quick look. This is the syntax of while statement. While pair of parentheses with conditions, a condition or multiple conditions connected with logical operators. Okay, and then if the condition is true, it goes into the statement. And the statement usually it is a compound statement. A compound statement it is formed as multiple statements included in a pair of curly braces. And indeed, uh, so far the two examples I did for a while, I used both. In both cases, I used the compound statement. And how about let's take a break. Thank you for watching.